Hey, what's up, YouTube? Just wanted to do a quick overview on the Optica SV or SteadyVid SVHD video camera stabilizer. Just ordered this about a week ago, and here it is. It is an inexpensive video camera stabilizer, holds up to about six pounds. Uh, but I have to tell you guys, it's my first one. You know, I'm a newbie to uh, videography, so I get, you know, I figured I'd give it a shot. And uh, I'm very pleased with it so far. It is the build quality is very good. It's very solid. Uh, the gimbal is very very smooth. And uh, there's only a couple of things that I'll, I'll let you guys know about that I, I'm not too crazy about. Uh, it does bring a quick release plate. I'm just loose unloosen this screw right here. See, you have to press in to to uh, actually release the plate. You have to screw it out a little bit more here. And you just uh, press that screw in, and it comes right off. If you don't press that in, the safety mechanism won't let it out. So that's a pretty good thing to have there. And on this side, you can see it's marked there. The other screw over here is to, you know, move it from side to side. And this is all just to get your uh, camera balanced. Uh, on the bottom here, I have this screw. You unloosen this, and the uh, Stabilizer, this goes up and down. You have your weights. Uh, brings about six six weights, two big ones and four smaller ones. Uh, again, the build quality is pretty good. I, uh, I I was actually impressed. I was expecting for it to be a little bit cheaper, but or you know cheaper looking. But anyways, good good quality. I do like it. This uh, grip though, however, when you when you have your camera on, it does slide up. So what I did was I, I just put a uh, zip tie on there, tied it real, you know, made it real tight, clipped it off, and it hasn't moved ever since. So that's worked for me. I do put on a, uh, I've been using a camera, or excuse me, a Canon 7D on here with a Tokina 1116 and uh, uh, a Rode mic up on top of it, and it's, you know, it's worked just fine. Got it on Amazon for about 130 bucks. I'm very pleased with it so far. I'm gonna show you guys some videos. Uh, you know, I managed to balance this within about 30 minutes or so, but from watching all the other videos on YouTube on how to how to balance it, you know, I did the three second drop test. It, it seemed very balanced, but I did see in my videos a little bit of swaying. And I don't know if that's just my technique since I'm new to this and I'm, I'm not sure that I'm even, you know, holding this right. I've been, I've been trying to practice and watch as many videos as I can on it. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions or tips or even videos, you know, comment down below or leave the link. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, again, I just wanted to do a quick overview uh, on the stabilizer. If you're thinking about it, I would recommend it. Uh, again, I'm not a pro or anything. I'm just getting into videography. But I thought this would uh, be a helpful video to show you guys a, a little bit of the uh, uh, footage or how, what it looks like, and hopefully that'll help you guys. Again, if you guys have any tips or anything, please comment below. I, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, one other thing, it does bring a video or a, or a CD with instructions on it. At first I had a hard time finding or getting it to play, I couldn't get it to play. Uh, so on the Mac I, I have a flip player and I managed to watch it on that with that program. So I just, you know, just in case you guys are out there and can't get it to play, if you have flip player on your Mac, uh, check it out there. The instructions uh, CD, it's okay. You'll probably get more information on YouTube anyways, but if you wanted to watch it, you know, now you know, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and uh, have a good one.